in this tutorial I'm going to go through a blockchain hyperledger documentation open hyperledger fabric uh, and tutorial then I have to open my terminal in this folder and then as you can see I have one script uh, network.sh right so this uh, is the main script that we will use to start our network and use our network so to run that script we can what we can do is network.sh and see what it means so the usage is network.sh mode and flag and the mode includes uh, mode includes up uh, to bring up the fabric order and peer node and up uh, so network as such up create channel is to bring up the fabric network with one channel and we have many right create channel deploy cc that means deploy chain code and bring down the network and the flag includes ca uh, using certificate authority to generate a network crypto metrics right and c for channel name s for database name r for uh, cli times out right cli means comment line interface times out after a certain number of attempts and right? so we have many so uh, there are other flags that we use with network.sh deploy cc like c for channel name ccn for channel chain code name then ccl for chain code language ccv for chain code version ccs for chain code sequence and ccp for chain code path and all now uh, we can list all of these modes uh, modes and flag together to run our network for example we can use we can do like network sh dot sh up create channel we are uh, bringing up our network and creating a channel with ca that is we are generating crypto metrics for our network with c channel name is my channel with s is nothing but a database type couch db right you can do any of this so to begin with let's start our network network up so it will take a while okay so here's our network up and running so it's really important to see the logs generated by the command right so if you quickly go through this uh, log generated by network.sh up command you can see the generating certificate file using cryptogen tool and so we are generating a certificate using cryptogen tool for organization one identity right so it's generated cryptogen tool then it's generated for organization two identity and creating order organization identity right we are generating two organization we are generating one order identity and generating cpp is chain code a path file for organization one and two right every docker image has a container id so this is container id for hyperledger fabric tools and this is container id for hyperledger fabric peers hyperledger fabric orderer hyperledger fabric peer now uh, if you want to list uh, list the docker images then we can do docker ps to list the docker images that are running so here's uh, four images running currently in our local host in our docker then now what we can do is we have to create a channel right now uh, we have created a organization one and organization two peer one and peer two right mm and then we have an order now we are going to create a channel so to create a channel what we have to do is we can do dot network network dot sh and create So if we look into the logs generated, 
then here generating channel genesis block my channel dot block so the channel name is my channel then we are creating a channel my channel using organization one and channel my channel is created then we have uh, organization one peer to the channel right joining organization one peer to the channel so the peer of organization one is joining to our channel then using organization two we are fetching channel configuration then we have successfully submitted the channel update and the channel my channel join so we have successfully created the channel right and if we want to um, create a channel of a custom name then what we can do is dot network dot sh network dot sh create channel we will use this flag c to specify channel name channel two right yeah the same thing will happen man it will try to generate channel with the name channel two so yeah channel two is uh, successfully uh, created right successfully submitted channel update and channel channel two join now that we have created a channel we have to start a chain code on a channel so the chain code basically is the that contains a smart contract because we need smart contract to interact with our channel ledger so the channel will have ledger and a smart contract an application run by a member of a network can invoke the smart contract to create asset on the ledger so now we have to deploy chain code to our channel so to, to deploy we can do net network.sh deplo deploy cc then ccn ccn is chain code name is the basic then ccp chain code path is called the dot of slash asse the asset transfer p r e n s a transfer p s s basic slash chain code would go and chain code and chain code language is equal to go. okay now basically what we done with this um, command is that we deployed our chain code on a channel my channel so here you can see deploying deploying chain code on my channel then before deploying we have to pack the chain code pa lifecycle chain code pack basic.tr.gz we have to pack the chain code that is inside this folder uh, if you look into as a transfer basic and this chain code we have to pack this chain code into here so this this is generated this is the pack chain code pack this chain code and chain code is packed right after that we have to use organization one and we have to do pa lifecycle chain code install basic.tr we have to install the chain code then we have to install this chain code pack chain code on our on the organization one or on the pa so now that then you can see here chain code it installed on pa zero dot organization one then we have to install it on organization two so using organization two the chain code is installed on organization pair 0 organization 2 using organization 1 after after successfully installing both on the pair of organization 1 and organization 2 we have to validate the chain code in a channel they have to come to a consensus to use the channel so to do that firstly we are using organization 1 so organization 1 approved then secondly we have to use organization 2 and yeah organization 2 also approved and 3 also approved organization 2 also approved so that means after approving chain code definition is committed on a channel after uh, approving from both of the organization then only the chain code definition is committed on the uh, on the channel so now the chain code is installed on the channel we can use to communicate with our network so uh, execute this command to set the environment variable of a peer 
Now to check whether we have done it correctly or not, we can do a basic uh, peer command. The peer CCN and channel list. So yeah, so we are using this peer that we have just set to see the list of channels that our peer has joined. Right. So this, all of this, all of this. What we have done is we have set it set the environment variable to use this whole terminal to operate this terminal as an organization one so the organization one has joined my channel and channel two now execute this command what we are doing in this uh, uh, command is peer chain code right we are using peer then chain code invoke o who is nothing but endpoint of order order is in local who 7050 order transcription whose name override is order.example.com and tls we are using transport layer security then certificate file is inside uh, organization order organization example.com order order.example.com msp tls certificate and inside here right then the channel is equal to my channel and name is equal to basic right chain code name is called basic that that we have defined and the PA address now the PA address is equal to localhost 701 TLS this one and other other pair if you look into and another pair is equal to localhost 90501 and TLS certificate is inside here so look into here the function is equal to init ledger and the argument is equal to no argument so init ledger does not take any argument now if we look into this file inside chain code then we have here smart contract dot go and if you look into function is init ledger and it does not take any argument this is the default argument and we don't have to pass this argument so what we are doing is initializing our ledger with six assets like asset one two three four five six color size honor and approach value so execute that command and yeah chain code invoke successful result status is equal to 200 that means we are successful now to get all asset we just have to do pair chain code q u e r query and so pair chain code query my cc my channel and basic c argument get all asset so we got right everything that we initialized here here we got it here using this command right and if you want to def if you want to see the definition of this comment then you, we can go here and scroll down and get all asset right get all asset and we are using this function to return all the asset on the ledger and now if you want to uh, transfer an asset to someone else then we can do we Yeah, chain code invoke is successful result. Now, if you want to see, then look at here. ID uh, is equal to asset six. Color is equal to white. Size is equal to fifty. And the honor is changed to long something. And in the beginning, the asset six is Christopher, right? And now it's changed to long something. So that's how we transfer asset. Uh, from one people to another uh, if you want to use uh, p of organization 2 then yeah we can follow the same procedure just open one new terminal then set the environment so yeah so from organization 2 it's so organization 2 also uh, we have SF6. We can see that the value has changed, right? So, this is it. Now, to bring down the network or to clean everything up, so what we can do is network.sh and down. 
we will clear all our container we will bring down everything that we have created and to try again if it didn't work in your computer then you can just bring down the network then start it all over watch my videos and if you get any error in between you can drop it in a comment section and i will reply to it and if you have liked this video subscribe to my channel and like thank you